Yeah. Uh-huh. What? No, yeah, keep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now we'll just go. We'll just go. <laughs> That's good. I didn't say anything. We just cut right there. <laughs>Hey guys, Nick Drosos, Dr. Andrew Steinberg, and welcome to another episode of Have the Balls to Talk About It. I forgot my balls. balls. I forgot my balls. Balls, please. One. There we go. We got our balls back. (laughs) Have the balls to talk about it. And this week, we are at Cardiogenics with Dr. Uman, family doctor, as well as Dr. Sugar Sammy. Dr. Sugar Sammy. Since when are you a doctor? I don't know, but I am living my parents' dream right now. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm faking this. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about men's health. What do men need to know as they're getting older, especially over 40s? What can we do to stay healthy and strong? Mm. Let's talk about a topic that's dear to your heart. Which one? Uh, erectile dysfunction. From what I've heard in the <laughs> industry and in the club scene. Um, it happens to everyone, right? It happens that's what to you everyone. So, so, um, Erectile dysfunction is extremely common. Uh, about statistics show about 50% of 50 year olds wow. have erectile dysfunction. Wow. One third of 30 year olds have some degree of, I, I'm not talking about complete impotence, but I mean varying degrees of, of erectile dysfunction. And there's so many more people who are, uh, who are living without talking, without seeking help with it. So we don't even know the full numbers. Really the revolution started with Viagra and that really brought people out out, uh, out of the woodwork and started talking about it much more. So I think that was a great thing, aside from being a great drug that, that, that works, but it also uh, it also brought a lot of people starting to talk about it and, and shows like this are gonna hopefully get more people to be able to feel comfortable and talk about it. And uh, uh, yeah, so. And are most of the uh, issues uh, physical or psychological? Because it, ha- it does happen temporarily psychologically yeah, yeah. with everyone so, too, because I remember once, this woman told me, ah, get out of here. Uh, it's too big, you monster. <laughs> and for months, um, for months, I was like, ah, oh, this is affecting me psychologically. I can't walk around. So, so, is that, uh, so that, yeah, yeah. So, so many people have that issue. But uh, I, I, when I speak to my patients, I, I normally talk about four things for erections. You need to have good blood flow. You need to have good hormones. You need to have good good nerve innervation of the prostate, uh, from the prostate, not from the prostate, but from the, for, to the penis, which goes around the prostate. And you need to have good input from above here. So any of those go wrong, uh, that can cause temporary or, per, or, or more severe case of erectile dysfunction. Wow, so how do you optimize all of that? So there are, f- there are well, four. Well, yeah, so, so first of all, for me, every case of erectile dysfunction has a psychological component to it. Mm-hmm. Whether it's 10%, 20%, 80%, and I, I really, advise we have we have a a sex therapist in our office Uh, i really advise every man with sexual function to go see a sex therapist talk about it it just helps the overall picture and studies have shown that treating with a sex therapist plus whatever medical therapy is necessary is better than treating one alone having said that 95 percent of men say oh it's not in my head it's not in my head it's here Uh, i don't need a sex therapist i'm fine you know I'm, I'm a Greek god, and, and uh, so <laughs> Greek gods ain't what they used to be. Like, you know, the ancient Greek gods, Zeus, all those guys were like tight. It's yeah. not like the Greeks in Park X now oh, on a Saturday night at Marvin's at 4 a.m. <laughs> drinking Uzo and dancing the bazooki. That's a different type of Greek oh, god. Jesus. You know Costa. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Human. <laughs> so what is your take on that? Like erectile dysfunction, yeah. is it okay. something you work work with or okay a great question so just like dr steinberg was saying we think of it from a family medicine point of view there's a psychological component and the organic biologic component so we think when you're younger there's a lot more psychology and as you get older there's a lot more biology or like dr steinberg was talking about those four points so we think of the penis as a dipstick of health so (laughs) and a dipstick of fun (laughs) So, <laughs> so, that one. so, what I mean is, 
uh, as we get... <laughs> it's like a thermometer, right? Yes. <laughs> Oral and rectal ones. It depends oh, where you yes. dip it. Oh, yes. I've dipped it depends it in where you dip it, yeah. Dipped it in some bad places. Oh, oh man. Oh, <laughs> Did it look the same when it came out? <laughs> yes. okay. I, need well, a, I need a towel here. Yes. <laughs> well, what I mean is... That, uh, of course, as we get older, it's more of the organic part. So the organic part means the artery that supplies blood to the penis might be getting blocked for various reasons. So smoking, cholesterol, blood pressure, uh, all of those things. And it, what I worry about as a family doctor, if that's not working down here, and perhaps that's uh, because it's getting blocked, then how about the smaller arteries in your heart? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a harbinger of heart disease. So although they worry about erectile dysfunction, and it's very important to me, uh, I worry more about the impending heart attack that's coming. Oh, yeah, wow. I, I agree. But, and, and, and dealing with patients, you know, they come in and they're overweight and smoking and high blood pressure and so on. And they, and they say, look, you know, uh, you want to improve your erections? Well, exercise, yeah. go see my friend Nick. Uh, lose weight, stop smoking, stop drinking so much. And what's the what's the end of most of these conversations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, can I have Viagra? Yes. So That's I agree. Fix, yeah. and, and I say, look, you know, this is exactly that. This is really a sign of something bigger. I and mean, we check for diabetes and we check for all these diseases in these, in these patients. But like everything, everyone's looking for the, for the quick fix, unfortunately. I mean, what an excellent yeah. point uh, Dr. Steinberg brings up because Viagra now celebrated it's over 20 years. Wow. And it's true, regardless of the organic or the psychological part, the Viagra can help. Yes. It can override a lot of that. And for men, the two obviously are connected. And um, that will take care of that, that problem. Wow. But, it, but it's hard to get patients to change. The, I mean, as of anything, a guy comes in with uh, high blood pressure, it's hard to get patient, patients, people, men, to change their lifestyles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what about the one condition we didn't talk about as men get older mm -hmm. that could contribute to erectile dysfunction? Monogamy. I think <laughs> that, you know, sometimes. Um, <laughs> what? No, keep, keep going. Keep going with this. Yes, keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, we'll just go. We'll just go. <laughs>just with their girlfriend, uh, you know, they, they lose their, I keep on saying girlfriend, their wife, they lose their erection, but, uh, or boyfriend, yeah. they, um... Because you'd lose it with your wife and not with your girlfriend. Exactly. <laughs> <So> that's... <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs>